So in our previous couple of videos, we added a new hard drive to our server, our Ubuntu server, and we partitioned it. We set up a file system on it and we shared it. So we did that using the traditional uh, methods for setting up uh, shared or setting up drives. Now, another way to do so is using logical volume management. So once again, I've added an extra hard drive to the system and we can find it using F disk dash L or whoops, sudo F disk dash L. And we'll see it right here. It's dev SDC. And I have nothing else added to that, right? No devices what we have with our dev SDB. So this is a new hard drive, but we've done absolutely nothing with it at this point. I can also find it using LSBLK, just like we did before. Here's SDC, nothing on it. Okay, so there we go. We have a drive that we're going to set up using logical volume management. Now, all of these commands are going to need to be done using sudo. So I'm just going to sudo su. And I'm going to give myself elevated permission so they don't have to type sudo every single time. So I'm going to start by creating a uh, physical device to use with LVM. So the command is pvcreate. And I'm going to pvcreate and I'm going to do dev sdc and I'm going to set this one up for logical volume management. So it says right here, we've successfully created it. And then I can display it using PV display. And that will show me I have dev SDA3. This is the one that I set up when I installed the system. Here's a new one that I just did. SDC is a new physical volume. And notice I have a PV uh, name. I don't have a volume group or anything else set. So that's just set up my drive to be used with logical volume management. So I'm going to create now a volume group. So we take drives, we set, set them up using PV create in order to use them with uh, logical volume management. And then we create volume groups. So I'm going to do VG create. So this is going to create a volume group and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it VG dash storage. And then I'm going to specify that I want to assign a specific disk to it. So that's going to be dev SDC. And so that creates my storage group. And now if I do PV display, let's see if I can spell display correctly, PV display. Now you're going to see that this is assigned to, let me get the right one here. Here we go, is assigned to VG dash storage. And if I do a VG display, this is going to be my volume group that we'll see. And this is my... Uh, but when the Ubuntu created. So let me pipe that to more so we can see the top part of this. And here's my volume group VG storage. LVM2 is the format and you see the rest of the stuff associated with it. So now I have my volume group. So I've uh, set up a physical disk to use with volume management. I've created a volume group and then I've added that drive to the volume group. So now I'm ready to create a logical volume. So it's going to be LV create. So PV physical volume, VG volume group, LV logical volume. So I'm going to create a logical volume and I'm going to name it. And we're going to be very creative here and we're going to name it volume one. And then I'm going to set the size. Now this is a 127 gig uh, hard drive that I've attached virtual disk. So I'm going to set it up as 10 gigabytes and then we're going to expand it a little bit later. So I'm going to do dash capital L 10 gigabytes. And then I want this logical volume to be posted on the volume group VG dash storage. So. If I walk across to create a logical volume, name it volume one, I could name it whatever. And then we're going to set the size of it to 10 gigabytes. And we're, we want to host it on VG storage. And that's the volume group that we created. So that creates logical volume, the logical volume. And I can do LV display to display my logical volumes. And once again, let me do this through more. 
to display this one that I just created, the path dev vg storage dash vol one, the logical volume name, the volume group that it's on, the logical volumes UUID, which I can use for mounting. It has read write access. This is when it was created, the status, uh, the size, so on and so forth. Okay, now at this point, I'm ready to format it or make a file system. So this is the exact same command that we used when we were doing a traditional volume so or a traditional partition. So I'm going to make a logic or make a file system ext4. I'm going to put it on forward slash dev forward slash vg dash storage forward slash vol1 which is the one that i just created and so that's going to create my volume group for me so now i want to mount this now just like i did before i'm gonna to have to create a folder to mount this to so i'm gonna do mkdir forward slash mnt forward slash and i'm gonna call this vol1 and then I'm going to mount this to that folder. So it's mount forward slash dev forward slash vg dash storage forward slash vol1. So the device folder, vg storage group, vol1 is a logical volume I've created. And I'm going to mount it to forward slash mnt forward slash vol1. Now remember I can display these at any time I want by doing lv display and it will show me my volume groups. Let me pipe that to more again. And this lv path is what I've been using when I used mkfs and I used the uh, mount commands. So that's where I found that. So I am going to, let's clear the screen and let's do df-h, disk-free human readable, and we're going to find dev mapper vg dash dash. Now notice the name is a little bit different here. That's okay. Dash vol1, and it's a, it's mounted to, you'll see it over here, mnt vol1, and it's 10 gigabytes. Okay, there we go. Now, one of the cool things with logical volume management is that it allows us to extend a volume. So I can create additional volumes on this, by the way. Just do uh, LV create, and I can create additional vo uh, logical volumes on my physical disk. I can also extend a logical volume. So if I create one and it doesn't have quite as much room as I wanted to, I can extend that. And we do that using the command. Oh, by the way, you can also add multiple drives to a logical volume group, uh, which is one of the benefits of it. So it kind of, it, it makes your logical or it makes your storage more flexible because you can add additional drives in and then mount additional volumes and it uh, abstracts. That's the word I was looking for. It abstracts a little bit, some of your storage. So as part of that means I can extend a logical volume. So I'm going to do LV extend and <clears throat> I'm going to extend the dash name is going to be forward slash dev forward slash VG storage forward slash VOL one. So that's what I'm extending. And then I'm going to do dash L and I'm going to add, and I'm going to do 100% of the free space. And notice by the way, that's all caps. So I'm going to extend that to all of my free space and that should reallocate it to use all of it. And you'll see it right here, size of logical volume changed from 10 gigabytes to about 127 gigabytes, which is my full uh, VHD that I've attached to it. So if now if I do, df disk free view it in human readable format and i look for my vg storage notice it's still only at 9.8 gigabytes okay i extended the volume which is great but what i did not do is extend the file system so let me clear the screen and so i can 
resize to FS, resize to the file system, dev. Now, this is going to require the full mapper. Let me show you how to find this real quick before we do this. Let's do ls forward slash dev forward slash mapper. This is going to show me my full path to the volumes. And I've got two of them right here, the Ubuntu volume group. And then this is the one I just created. Now, this is the path that I need for resize 2FS. So it's going to be resize 2FS, resized file system, dev mapper. Type that correctly. There we go. Dev mapper forward slash VG dash dash storage. And up till this point, we've been using the name, which is VG dash storage. But in the mapper, it's VG dash dash storage dash vol one. And that is going to try to resize the file system. And so it now tells me the file system on dev mapper VG dash storage dash vol one is now X number of blocks long. Let's do disk free in human readable format because this is going to be easier. And this is going to tell us that now it's 125 gigabytes instead of just 10. Okay. So to recap real quick, we used PV create to associate a physical disk or to set up a physical disk to be used with logical volume management. We used VG create to create the volume group and then to add the command uh, or add the physical hard drive uh, to it, that volume group. We used LV create to create a logical volume. And then we used LV extend to extend a logical volume. Okay, now bear in mind that just like with our previous uh, drives, this is not available for, well, it will not be available when we reboot because we haven't added it to the ETC FS tab file. Now you're going to add it to the ETC FS tab file exactly the same way we did in the previous video. So I'm going to reference you back to that previous video rather than doing it again. So there we go. We have created a drive using logical volume management.